oh hey, I must have not seen or heard you come in. This is Nice Guys Comics again coming at you just with another video of transparency, another transparency video showing you behind the scenes of our next mystery box. So I wanted to be completely transparent and um, I'm gonna finish this video because I'm such a nice guy of just telling you about some books that I love to read. But first things first, I have to be transparent because I'm such a nice guy. And the first thing I always do is I always show the grand prize, which is Oak 181, not .8 white pages, no big girl. Well, I'm going to box this up in front of you guys and show you exactly that this is for real. Okay? Always use painter's tape because my shipping labels and all my shipping is always on point. Now, that one's already boxed up. Now, some of the other stuff, you know, everybody gets, you know, uh, a, a mystery box. A lot of people do um, uh, different mystery boxes, but mine are always the most trustworthy and reliable because, um, you know, I always give the best grand prizes and I'm always transparent. One of the big things that you should be collecting is um, Magnus Robot Fighter number five and a qualified label. Okay. That book is going to the moon. But first, I always have to show, because I'm completely transparent and I'm such a nice guy, that I'm boxing it up and doing it correctly. Yeah. So, a lot of you guys wanted to see these videos, and I know a lot of YouTubers, specifically this guy that's Sticky Goose, he's always taking shots at me. But the problem is, is that Sticky Goose guy is not a nice guy like me. Look into my eyes. Can't you tell I'm a nice guy? But that's besides a point. That Sticky Goose guy is kind of like the Limp Biscuit of the comic book community. Where he's always starting junk. And the problem is, he just keeps getting so much attention because of it. And it makes me mad. But anyway, that's besides the point. I gotta get back to sorting these mystery boxes. Did I tell you guys I'm a super nice guy? Yeah, I think I told you guys. But uh, again, these are just some of the prizes in these mystery boxes. This one I'm gonna increase the price a little bit because of just how big the grand prize is. But you're gonna get a $500 value in every mystery box. Okay. And that little slip up with my retailer varied exclusive, that's never going to happen again. Trust me on that. And I can guarantee you, somebody is going to open one of these grand prizes on video, and it's not going to be my either, my cousin, Nice Guy Comics 2, or my friends, Nice Guy Comics 3 and 4. None of those guys are going to open the boxes. Oh, so much work. Backbreaking work doing all this. I think I'm going to buy another $100,000 collection this week. I don't know though. But I'll make a video of it for sure. I don't know why I always look so tired and kind of, I don't know, sleepy and sad all the time. Have you guys ever noticed that? Ah, me either. Anyway. Uh, my good friend, um, Schnickelfritz Comics, is going to talk to you guys about some investment opportunities. But don't forget that Avengers number 1 from 2018, even in grades like 9.6, are extremely valuable books. You should probably be getting them. If you can't get one, try to get one in my mystery box. But without further ado, I'm going to kick it over to Schnickelfritz. Hey, thanks to Nice Guys Comics for, uh, it, it, you know, sending you my way. We've got a, a a beautiful board here. Um, it's a it's a whiteboard special. You know you know I'm serious when I'm talking whiteboard special here on Snickle Fritz Comics. Okay, so uh, you know with me with the whiteboard, I always break it down because I'm Midwest nice. All right, I'm super Midwest nice. Oh, by the way, by the, by the way, buy my comic book. Okay, because I'm a nice guy, just like nice guys comics. Okay, the thing I want to talk about today. All right, if you stay with me, is the comic book index fund okay now nice guy comics talks next yeah, investments talks index funds as well but over on my channel snickle fritz comics we talk about comic book index fund okay 
So this is the this is this is a graph, okay? This is a y-axis, this is the x-axis, okay? So so a lot of comic book collectors are over leveraged. Can you say that with me? Over leveraged. So what I'm gonna display that what I'm gonna show, I gotta calm down. <laughs> I get a little overheated. Oh wait. Buy my comic book, okay? Uh, this right here is the the index fund, okay? So as we go to the right, okay, on the right, on the index axis, okay, that's over leveraged. I said that already. Over here, and I don't know if you can see this, I'm in the way, uh, uh, short box, uh, buy from short box. Uh, over here, this is fun, okay, on the y axis. Now, follow me here. This is a very important point, and you're going to miss it if you don't stay with me here, okay? This is inversely proportional, okay? As you over leverage, you have more fun. Okay, a lot of comic book collectors, most comic book collectors, and a Midwest nice, by the way. Oh yeah, one more thing, uh, buy my comic book. Okay, so this right here is where most people start. Okay, right here. Can you see that? Okay, now as you go, you start to over leverage. You see that you over leverage but you're having more fun, okay? You're having more fun because your fun's going up, okay? But you're having more leverage. You're over leveraged on the comic book index fund. Fund, okay? You're over leveraged. You keep going up, you keep going up, you keep going up, okay? So that's a good, good kind of example, okay? But there's outliers. There's outliers to this, all right? There's some people that kind of go way, way out of the stratosphere there. It's way out of the stratosphere there, okay? And they start they start over leveraging earlier, but they're having more fun. But see, they teeter off there to the end. You see that, how it comes to the tip there? Now, you're probably seeing where this is going, but do you see this? If you start low, okay, and you start small, and you under leverage, under leverage, over here, you're having, you're still, you're not having as much fun, okay? But you're over leveraged. Follow me here. Careful of the whiteboard there. It's it's messing up. Oh, hold on a minute. Yeah, I'll just finish it, finish it there, okay? So now as you can see, and see this right here, all this right here, if you're staying with me, this is an inflection point. All of this here, this is an inflection point. What I want. And this is what I want for the Snickle Fritz viewers. I want you guys to be right here, okay? I want you guys to be all in this area right here, okay? Because if you're not here, you're going to be down here and you're going to be under leveraged. Is that the people down here that are under leveraged, they come in two groups, okay? There's two groups down here where people are under leveraged. And I'll show them to you right here, okay? And you can probably see what's going on here. There's a group here. Okay, in the group that went way too high, over leveraging too quickly. Okay, and then there's another group here, and they go all the way down, okay, on the other spectrum, okay, all the way on the other spectrum of the fun scale, where they're having negative fun, okay, they're having less fun, negative fun, and they're still over leveraged. Okay, these are two groups. Right here, right here, that I don't want you, I don't want you in either of these groups right here, okay? If you're in either of these groups, you're having a bad time, okay? Don't want you in these groups, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to buy my comic book, buy from Short Box, subscribe to the channel, like the channel, and um, I'll catch you next time. I'm going to pass it back over to Nice Guys Comics. All right, take care. All right, thanks, thanks, Snickle for its comics. That was weird that we're wearing the same clothes and shirt stuff. Huh. Weird. But, uh, oh yeah. I wanted to talk about the five books that I love reading and the five books that always are guaranteed to sell every single time. Okay, the five books that I love reading are, um, Avengers number one. Oh, I love that book. Oh yeah, I love reading Wildcats number one. That's a great one. And they always sell. Oh yeah, uh, I love reading the Max number one. It's a super great story that I love how the story is. I love reading comic books. Oh yeah, uh, let me just show you. Uh, let me just take this. 
Oh yeah, I love Terminator. Um, Terminator number one. Ha <laughs> Yeah, that's sweet. I love that movie. And uh, oh yeah, but I'm reading comics. I don't just watch movies and follow that spec. Oh, and yeah, I love Magnus Robot Fighter, specifically issue five. This book always sells. All right, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna finish up these mystery boxes and um, you know, just uh, make sure to include my 9.8 um, Hulk 181 in there that I definitely included in one of the boxes. And um, I hope you guys have an awesome day because I'm such a nice guy. Take it easy and keep it comics.